Okay, so um, I had posted this animation on the Blender subreddit, which I suggest going to if you're a beginner, because they'll answer any of your questions. But it did pretty good. It got 900 uh, upvotes, so that's better than most of the things I post. So I figured I'd break it down and just show you guys um, what I did. And just like most of my designs, they're pretty simple. So um, a beginner can do this. Um, I'm using 2.80 or 8. A lot of people say 2.8 or 80. I think it's 80. I don't really care. But um, yeah. So this is basically um, what it is, just three objects ro objects rotating. And then um, we'll check out the render here. It's just rendered. Um, looking back on it, I also don't like the spinning um, the spinning spike ball. Definitely would have taken that out uh, if it was another time. But yeah, it's horrible frame rate. Not sure what's slowing it down, but yeah, that's basically the render. So I think most people would probably be curious about these spinning things and how I did those. Um, and super simple. Let me open up a new window and I'll show you how I did it. So we'll open up a new blender and we'll make them really easy. It's basically the build modifier and then I gave it a limited limited dissolve. So we'll just give it an icosphere, subdivide it, do that, do that, and then in the modifiers I just added a build. Press play. Let's see. Let's see what these looked like. Bring them back. Okay. So it's just like that. So bring it back some. And I just kind of built it to where I liked it. I think this is exactly what it was because I had that indent. And then I just applied it. And so we have this going on. And then what I did, I added a solidify up to the thickness. And then I applied that. And then what I did, see how it's all these vertices? I wanted to add some sort of fun with this, so I hit X, limited dissolve, and it gives you this really cool pattern. Um, let me put on a matcap so you can see it better. So it gives you this really cool pattern, and then what I basically did was I just went in, gave it individual on the inset, and then I just insetted the faces, like inset, and then I extruded I would inset it again, and then I would uh, extrude it basically like this, and that's kind of gives it that really weighty look to it. And then we basically did that, and then in the animation, I just went in, and I would pick two of the rotation axes, and I would rotate them 360 degrees. And all I did was sort of take this one and duplicate it. Kind of like in one of my abstract design tutorials. Um, basically the same thing, but just sort of an EV animated version of that. And then I just took all, th all three of these and gave, gave them each a different um, combination of rotation axis. And then uh, made them rotate 360 degrees at 120 frames a second. And you get this really interesting uh, look. And that's mainly the thing. That's mainly the render. Um, of course, these walls, I'll show you how I did that, um, that shader. So we'll take this off the render, we'll go to the other one, and we'll add a new window. So for that, we'll just make the shader real quick. Go into my shading window, and we'll give this a texture. So we'll leave it off of metallic because it's basically like a stone, a kind of a stone shader. And then I'm going to give this a light, give it a point light, bring it up, let's see if it is it giving me, give me something to look at, yes, okay, cool, so we'll go back to solid for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and add a bump node and plug it straight into the normal right here. We'll put this on rendered. Check it out like that. Um, and then we'll give it a noise texture and a color ramp. 
and we'll just plug all these together plug the color into the height and you'll see in just a second something's happening okay so in the noise texture we'll give it some detail and then with our color ramp we can add some flatness um, this way kind of like this and so that just kind of flattens it out and we have that wall basically and then you can plug the same thing in plug um, this noise into our base color and you can add put a color ramp as well and you can shade these areas as well as just add some color here kinda like that and then as well as plugging this color ramp into the roughness and you can do some uh, weird things with it so this is kinda wet that's dry and yeah you can just have some fun with that shader and make like this weird procedural kind of rock looking shader it doesn't really look like a rock with the roughness but um you basically you get the idea on that and and then I just put it on these two walls three walls and uh, the floor as well and yeah that's basically the shader and then this one right here in the middle it's just a icosphere with a wireframe on it and the sphere inside of it just has an, an emission shader on it and then Eevee does all the work with giving it that glow effect and I added a light here a light here and then I added I added a light up here one shining here and one shining there just to give it that full on just some good lighting effect that gives it soft lighting and then these lights down here kind of give it that scale as well as the camera being way to the floor and it's a really wide camera um where's my camera at Let's see what yeah 38 millimeter um on the camera so basically the smaller the smaller the number the more wide angle is going to make this look really big but if it's at like 50 or 100 it's going to make it look microscopic um it's a little photography trick for you um and that's basically how i did this render and i'm super proud of it i'm glad the reddit folks liked it and yeah super simple render um feel free to copy this and try it on your own you can post it um basically all the stuff i put on my youtube channel if you copy it i don't mind um and there you go that's basically the render i hope you enjoyed